Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today let's see the extension of my previous video, Deployment Manager. Today we would be going through the roles, access groups and uh, we would be seeing what is the sample merge pipeline. Another important update I want to give is, in our YouTube channel we have something called as community type. In this community type, you will be listed with all the latest videos and with all the latest job openings I have found. So I'm not having any deal with any organization, just whatever I have seen on LinkedIn or from my friends WhatsApp status or something. So I'm posting all the job opportunities here. Please feel free to share this uh, for the people who are looking for the job. And not only that, we have playlists. In the playlist also I have uh, categorized all the videos so you can refer to the concepts accordingly. Before going to video I want to share that I am available in TopMet now. So if you want some Pega career guidance or if you want some Pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview questions, whatever it is you can reach me personally in this TopMet. You can book a video meeting with me so that uh, I can have one to one chat with you guys. So let's see what are the important access groups for deployment manager. So we will be having two access groups like pipeline user and super admin. So pipeline user will be configuring uh, the pipelines only to deployment manager whereas super admin can uh, switch to dev studio and like the respective user can do the dev studio activities as well. And what are the important access rules and privileges like uh, for the access group there are many access rules that are linked and there we have respective privileges. So here privileges are so important for deployment manager why because uh, we would be doing uh, import export of zip and we would be conferring the pipelines and we should be having an option to edit the pipeline manage the pipeline and not only that for diagnosing the pipeline for any issues and uh, everything is related to this security configuration and uh, look and feel of the admin studio we have two skin rules pz uh, workspace studio and pz designer studio so if you want to configure any skin rule changes you will be config uh, concentrating on these two uh, this would be directly linked to the application and this is like inheritance to this uh, respect to inheritance of the skin rule and important class so there might be many classes, uh, OTB classes powered by Pega, but Pega DevOps work, this is one of the most important class we have to remember because uh, to see the reports of the pipeline, to see the deployment has happened and what is the error and what is the pipeline configuration, what are the tasks that we have configured, everything we could track from this respect to class. So as I have said, uh, this is super admin access group. Uh, so where we can have see developer portal and as well as deployment manager studio portal as well. And here we are having uh, some access roles like deployment manager user access role, multi-tenant admin, security administrator, high, double, high availability administrator, sysops administrator and PAG IP. These are uh, most important available roles. So if you are facing any issues, we would be seeing uh, these are respective roles and privileges added to the respective access uh, roles. And this is again a uh, pipeline user. Pipeline user, as I have said, the only deployment manager studio only will be navigating it. And uh, same available roles are uh, similar. And uh, let's see like uh, deployment manager user. So what are the options they are having? So for the base class, they were having uh, to download a log file, switch to dev studio, manage configuration file. And this is data app and repository. So these classes are important because we are configuring artifact management in every pipeline. So this PX get repository should be five. Otherwise import export or uh, reading the respective package from the environment would be facing an issue and this Pega DevOps uh, class uh, so as I have said this is one of the most important class Pega DevOps work so they have given directly Pega DevOps work deployment in that also they are giving this option can promote deployment and all and pipeline config so all that uh, classes they have listed over here with uh, different uh, privileges here and let's see what is there in multi-tenant admin so this multi-tenant admin uh, base class they have multi-tenant access to empty restricted rules 
and uh, this is system settings uh, so in the system settings we can just uh, write and delete instances so they have removed this read rules write rules and delete rules and uh, this execute report and execute activities and what is the other one syswap administrator so this is swaps administrator right uh, for debugging purpose so you can see here request a behavior request an administrator listener observer and uh, so only few of the things they have given this high availability administrator so quizzing and high available admin quiz and this pega api so this is like to create a case get case uh, so if you want to modify any such things right you can just uh, go here uh, with the base class and uh, these roles you can go through it and uh, if you uh, want to restrict uh, many things for your user you can create a new access role uh, for the respective user and that uh, user you can uh, restrict over here if you feel like you have given more privileges to your deployment uh, user and another thing dm release administrator or uh, this uh, like a uh, super admin access group this respect to access group uh, default portal have made it as a so you can select this as a developer portal if you want to directly log in as a dev studio for the respect to user and pipeline user as we are having only one portal you can just give this uh, PX deployment manager studio as the OTB rule and here you can see harness and uh, workspace studio this is the skin uh, you want to apply for the respective pipeline user this is the harness that we have seen for deployment uh, manager so if you want to customize some things uh, you can go through these javascripts and style sheets also if uh, you want to do more customization now uh, for the otb uh, product given by pega now let's see uh, merge pipeline and the diff uh, different uh, tasks that are available so in our course we will be having a uh, deployment management stands right in that actually i already told like we can create uh, multiple pipelines like business change pipeline data migration pipeline deployment pipeline merge pipeline or upgrade pipeline so uh, we can configure each and everything as per our business needs. so let's see how does uh, like a deployment pipeline already shown like we would be having some similar steps and we'll be adding uh, stages like uh, uh, staging production and here you can see there are plus one stages you can click on here see this is development staging production and here development and there are two stages specified over here like quality assurance staging and then production and this is like merge pipeline let's see what they have configured in merge pipeline because merge is nothing but uh, we do our regular development in branches and in branches uh, we will be having our code and we would be doing merge of that respective branch to a respective rule set so pega uh, deployment manager have capabilities of doing that merge also with a pipeline so here actions edit pipeline so this is application details they are having some application details over here and here if you scroll down you can see merge policy choose the target rule set so to which rule set you want to merge so you have like highest existing rule set version or new rule set version you can give and this is your password for uh, rule set version so if you are practicing to create a new rule set version you can give this otherwise you can give like existing highest rule set version this is like our development repository and this pipeline model and this is our stage merge criteria and you can see this is our environment url like a development environment url you can see there is a template environment template dev underscore merge and this great merge conflict so it would this is a otb step provided by pega and this is check branch guardrails this is also otb so this threshold guardrail uh, you can configure so 97 is the best practice you can to follow and this is much where it will be merging to uh, the respective branch and this is trigger deployment this task will be uh, trigger deployment of the specified application pipeline let's see what are the other tasks you can add 
only these are there like deploy branch guardrail you check the branch review status or request that review has been completed if suppose if you are using some peer-to-peer -peer review component and uh, you want to merge branch only if it is reviewed then uh, you can add this uh, step as well and uh, pega unit suppose if there are any pega units uh, unit test cases that you are already configured the respective branch so this task will execute a pega unit so until the pass percentage is 100 percent then only your branch will be merged thanks for watching this video hope you have liked the content Please feel free to subscribe to this channel and check community tab for regular updates and click on bell notifications.